All right, so if you're installing Windows 11, so let's go ahead and do this. Next, install now. All right, you can see setup is starting. We'll wait for this. Okay, it might take a little while, so just be patient. Come on, come on, wake up. So you're seeing in real time how this works, but basically, if you're getting this, PC can't run Windows 11, all right? Doesn't meet uh, minimum requirements. We're gonna close this. Oops. Yes, we wanna quit. I'm gonna close this. And the next thing you wanna do is go to your BIOS settings. Um, for this motherboard, it's either F12, um, sorry, delete, or we can do F12. For some reason, delete wasn't working, so I'm gonna press F12 to go to the boot menu. Okay. All right, come on, wake up. Come on, it's not wanting to go. It might be because I pressed delete, so now it doesn't want to do it. All right, so we're gonna turn this off. Okay, we'll turn it back on. Come on, wake up. I pressed it. Wake up, there we go. All right, we're gonna press F12 while it's starting up because delete just causes the computer to freeze and lock up for some reason. So we'll press F12, and then here you can see we're gonna go down to enter setup, or you can use the mouse, enter setup. Usually I just use the keyboard. And then in here, we gotta find a certain setting. So let's see, I think, is it in miscellaneous? So in here, miscellaneous, I think it's, oh no, here. Intel Platform Trusted Technology, all right? PTT, we're gonna enable that. Okay, I don't know why they call it that, because it's usually TPM 2.0 which is trusted platform something, module maybe. Um, I don't think we need to change this one, so we'll leave that alone. Um, I did change one setting, which I'm gonna turn off. Uh, here we go. So they have this Windows 10 features, WHQL. I'm gonna put just normal Windows 10. I think uh, people said that WHQLs, if you're using like new hardware, that's not really completely tested or something by Windows, I don't know. But anyways, it's not necessary, so we're gonna save and exit setup. Okay, we're gonna restart. We're gonna press F12 again to start the Windows thing. Okay, so F12, F12. This is how I started it the first time. I'm booting off my Windows USB installer. So F12, we get this menu. I'm gonna boot from my UEFI SanDisk Cruiser Fit. All right, we'll start that up and it should be starting the Windows installer. The reason why I turned off the WHQL thing is because when it was booting the Windows 11 like little circle, instead of showing the gigabyte, it was showing the blue Windows 11 logo. So I figured this looks cleaner, it looks nicer. Um, you have like the original manufacturer's um, motherboard kind of name there instead of the generic Windows 11 flag. So yeah, we'll just wait for this to start up. <clears throat> so this is how you do it on a gigabyte um, motherboard. Okay. And we just gotta wait, there you go. Windows 11 is starting up. All right, this time I'll use the mouse because the keyboard is slower. Come on, come on, come on. So it takes a while. All right, depending on your computer, obviously this may be faster or slower. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind, but this is how long it's gonna take. I don't like cutting stuff out because then people wonder, why is mine like taking forever or why is it this? Um, this lets you see how long it will actually take, all right? And it's also less work having to edit stuff or cut things out and then I accidentally miss something, so it's better I just leave everything in. If you wanna fast forward and find out what happens next, you could always just press the forward button on uh, YouTube. Right, anyways, we'll go next here, leave it all on English, install now, okay, startup is starting, or setup is starting, and you should see this time that it actually will let me install Windows. So I don't know why, but their computer's been just sitting on that BIOS menu, I don't know if something corrupted their Windows installation, um, I'm assuming they only had Windows 10 on it before, or maybe they did an in-place update and then maybe there's a way it can work without the TPM thing, but uh... Yeah, this time we're gonna install it the correct way. Um, I'm gonna clear out all the old hard drives and partitions. They said they didn't need any data. As you can see now, it's actually letting me install before it was giving that like it's not compatible or whatever. So we got here, there's two hard drives. Okay, it looks like this drive is, whatever that is, is dead. 
So it looks like they do have a dead drive there. I'm going to let them know because they're probably going to want me to install it on an SSD. I'm pretty sure this is like a spinning hard drive. But anyways, since this is this drive is dead, it's probably um, that's probably why their computer was just getting stuck on BIOS. And that's probably why the delete key wasn't letting me enter BIOS. Anyways, I'm going to install it on here temporarily. We'll just go next and I'll figure out what they want to do about the SSD after. All right, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys install Windows 11 on your computer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, one other thing. If you want to install Windows 11 without logging into a Microsoft account, I do have a video showing how to do that. So if you need that, let me know and I'll post a link or I'll send you a link. All right, thanks for watching again. See you all in the next one. Bye.